this last one um, was made up by a guy you've already talked about before, namely Siapinski. Siapinski. Now, we know one thing about Siapinski so far, which is that he has what kind of shape? A triangle. Very good. So he was like, psh, squares. So mainstream, you know. I'm going to be a bit of a hipster. And I want to divide up my, you know, my two-dimensional space. I want to see if I can divide it up into another way. How about triangles, okay? So this one is a bit tricky. I need to help myself with this one, right? So here's what he did. You start with one space, okay? The most obvious way to divide this up into triangles is just to go right down the middle, okay? Now what I've got is I've got now two different places within the space that I need to go visit, okay? That's not very hard. You just go like so. Nothing to it, okay? Because triangles, when you divide up, you only get two, right? And the next time I'm going to get four and then eight, as opposed to here, you grow a lot faster, right? We went from four to 16 to 64 pretty rapidly, right? Because I'm quartering each time. The piano curve grows even faster, right? We went from um, nine to 27. We didn't even bother drawing 81. Okay. Uh, sorry, not 81. Is it 81? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did 81. We did 81, but the next one would be 243. Anyway, a lot, okay? This one grows a lot slower. So let's have a look at this next one, right? This is already the subdivision that exists. Okay, so I'll just make triangles. Okay. But the whole idea now is, out of each of these triangles, I'm going to make a new, a new pair of triangles, right? So you divide them up like this. Okay, now, put your pencils down for a second if you're still trying to finish the previous curve, because you've really got to watch this, okay? Remember my order here, right? I went from one to two. So I still, I need to finish this entire triangle that's here before I finish this triangle, before I go on to this triangle, right? So I've got to do these two, then do these two, okay? Now, C. Pinsky took a note out of Hilbert's book and he said, okay, it's not that hard. This problem is exactly the same as the first one that you did, except the only difference is they're triangles instead of squares. Do you see that? It's just four triangles jammed together in exactly the same way that Watch. If I put these in place, you'll see. You see that's that's the Hilbert curve, right? Once you make those triangles squares, you just go one, two, three. There you go. It's the same curve so far. Okay. Now let me get rid of this, because this is very much not the Hilbert curve, as you'll see. Okay. What is the logical next step? Logical next step. Well, you <laughs> the moral is never try. Okay, now we're gonna take the existing subdivision, right, which is like this, so I've got four. Okay. Now let's get that order down so that we know this, right? One and two. I'm now going one, two, three, four. Every triangle here is going to be halved into <coughs> another pair of triangles, right? So for instance, if I halve this triangle to get two triangles, there's my two. You see that? If I do this one, that's the second one, I'll get two. And then another two, and then another two. Okay. Now remember your order, right? I've got to finish this triangle first, and then I'm going to end <coughs> up with this triangle. So here is triangle one. You see it? Do you see the parallel? So where shall I go? Remembering that I want to go that way. I'm guessing I'd do this. Yeah? There's triangle one finished. Here's triangle two. Here's triangle, that's, sorry, there's triangle two, that was just getting into triangle two. Now I've done triangle two, I need to get into triangle three, I need to cross triangle three, into four, and then I'm finished. Do it individually, they will make a circle, right? Okay, now, that's such a good question, right? When you have a look at this, right, it does seem like I'm going towards a circle, like, you know, I'm getting more and more sides, right? Well, just follow with me, okay? Watch this. This is the step that blows, blows minds, okay? It blew my mind when I was trying to make it work, okay? When you go, whenever you do the next iteration, okay? You start with the previous one, which currently looks like this. You start with the previous iteration, and then you divide it up in such a way so that you can copy whatever shape you have here into here. Alright, now, just think for a second, right? See all of my triangles that I've made? 
What kinds of triangles are they? Right. They are all right angled triangles, all of them, right? So if I were to go towards having a circle, for instance, a division I might make is one like this. Uh, here we go. Right, you see that? Because then I would go around, there would be another one here, and then I just, I just go all the way around, okay? But this subdivision doesn't work. At least it doesn't work in a fractal sense. Because look at the four new triangles I've made, right? Only two of them are right angled, okay? That's the first problem. The second problem is even the right angled ones, these guys, right? They are no longer similar to any of the other right angled triangles. They're not just right angled triangles. What kind of right angled triangles are they? Scale symmetry. To each <laughs> other, to each other, look, this is a square, right? One, two, three, four. They're isosceles right angle triangles, right? These are right angle, but they're not isosceles. So I have to abandon this scheme. This is a little bit like going the wrong way around the Hilbert curve. You get a different space feeling curve. It's just not this one. So how, bless you, how we divide this up properly. Uh, let's get our order down here. So I went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Just look at triangle one. There he is. Right there. How do I divide him up? So I get something similar. Yeah, I'm going to go across here. Okay. Now, it doesn't take that much imagination to see. I'm going to do that for all of the triangles, all the eight triangles I've got. This is the pattern I'm going to get. You see that? You see how all the triangles I've got, they're still isosceles, they're still right angled, everything is fine. Okay. Alright, let's have a look at our order. Okay. This is the first triangle I have to complete. Right? <laughs> Better make sure I do this right. Okay. Let's have a go. I'm going to begin here. I've got to finish this triangle before I move on to the next triangle, right? And I'm going up. Like that. Yeah, good. I'm going to go here. Oh. Right? I finished. I finished triangle one. Now I can go up to triangle two. Triangle two. Finish triangle two before you move up to three. And okay. Now remember, we started with something that bore resemblance to the Hilbert curve, right? Then it stopped looking like the Hilbert curve, and then it's something completely different. Okay? We up to the one, two, three, fourth iteration. We're going to go up to five and six. Give it a shot. So let's have a look at this. Let's see if we can finish it off. Right? I've put in my start and end points, and you can see I've done that. So you can see the scale symmetry every time. It's just the start and end points get closer and closer and closer together at the corners. Okay? Now if I need to finish this. You can see, right, I need to finish this triangle, this is the first one, right? And then I need to get over into this triangle, over here. So I cross, and then I finish the triangle, right? Then I need to go up to finish this triangle, and go across, and then up, and you're getting this kind of shape, right? Now by the time you get to here, You've almost got something which you can just do by symmetry and you can start to stop thinking about it so much. I need to come across, up, and you get this octagonal kind of shape which you ought to recognize from the third iteration. Right? So this is an advantage of fractal design. Every time you go down a level, you get the previous levels by copy. Right? And where am I? I've got to go. Ahead. Okay, here we go. Properly. By the way, do you notice, just before we leave off this, right? Do you notice how number three and number five look more similar to each other than, like, say, four and five, right? There's this kind of flipping back and forth, and you're going to see that as I draw the last one, and then you can take the pictures. Okay, so watch this. Oh, I'm just using vision. That's what I'm using. No, it's not going to be here, probably. Probably? It's okay, I got there. There we go, got it.